Hispanic Heritage Month, we are highlighting Latinos in the community this week who are making a difference. And today, our Vanessa Pacheco introduces us to a Puerto Rican woman who has spent her time throughout the years helping many Hispanics in the Gulf Coast. Take a look at this. Leida Javier Ferro moved from Puerto Rico to Alabama 27 years ago. Throughout her time in Mobile, she's held many titles and has committed a lot of her time to helping the Latino community in the region. At 71, I'm retired. I've been retired, but very more busier than ever. I don't get paid, but I do a lot of things that pay me many other ways. If she realized that it's something that can get done, she goes there and get involved. Not just for the Latin community, but for anybody, for the women, for the, the Hispanic, for a friend, you know. She inspired people to be the best of themselves. And that's the way I can describe her, you know. She's not just a mentor, but also an inspiration for the community. Before coming to Mobile, Javier Ferro was Dean and VP of Student Affairs at several universities in Puerto Rico. There, she focused on the development of leadership and community service. Here, her focus remains the same. She is the president and founding member of the Hispanic American Business Association of the Gulf Coast. The Hispanic American Business Association was founded about 14 years ago. We've been working very hard at integrating the community and representing the Hispanic community. 20% of the population in the United States is Hispanic. And they're valuable. They're not rapists and criminals. They're people that are hardworking, that want to give something to better for their children. Javier Ferro says the association has organized several successful meetings with businesses and has hosted various events to help unite the community. Their biggest event, Mobile Latin Fest. Mobile Latin Fest blew the whole thing out of proportion here. We had 8,000 people last year. It has been amazing. It has been amazing. This year we have food from 23 countries, we have vendors, we are outgrowing the plaza, so we decided to do it two days, and this is nine volunteers running this humongous activity. Thanks to the association and funds raised throughout the years, Javier Farrell says they can continue helping families and provide scholarships to college-bound Hispanic students. If there is a story I have to tell is I remember picking up in the bus station this woman, Cuban woman and her child. She was 10, scared, cold, 10 days on the road with no changing of clothes. This young woman right now is in her third year of nursing at the University of South Alabama with honors. Javier Farrell says there are thousands more stories to tell and a lot of work to be done. For now, she says she will continue volunteering her time and helping Hispanics in the Gulf Coast region. Just a little help to help each other. That's all we can pass over. And that I can multiply by 100, and that's the story. What a wonderful feature. I know. Leida has so much energy, but you can... You know, just speaking to her, she's done so much for the community. And just speaking to others, other people that mm -hmm. I've interviewed throughout the weeks, uh, they all know Leida. They're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's well, I was going to say? What an amount of experience that she brought to the community. Yes. She is a tremendous resource. Yes, and she's volunteering. All of this mm -hmm. is just volunteering, all of this. And it's a big event coming yes, up this weekend. Yes, so she's a big part of the Latin Fest. Obviously, it's on Friday. That's taking place from 5 to 10, and then Saturday from 4 to 10. So the first day will be at Cathedral Square, and the second day will be at Mardi Gras Park. But Fox 10 will be there, Telemundo will be there, Telemundo Mobile will be there. Uh, we will be there dancing, eating all the food for sure. Ooh, the food, <laughs> I'm sure. And free activities for the kids. So it'll that be fun. That sounds great. Yeah. And of course, uh, more festivities next month also, right? Yeah, I, th I think. Festivities overall. Okay. But the Latin, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month ends this week. So we've Ooh. had, we did half of September and half That's of right. October. We said we're going to take two months. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Yeah. Looking 20 forward. 20% of the population. <laughs> but we'll feature two more stories tomorrow and on Friday as well. And so. looking forward to details yeah. on the festival as well coming up. So yes. this is all fun. Thanks, yeah. Vanessa. No problem. Thank you very much.